Does old age wake you up at 2 a.m.? No, it's five vitamin deficiencies. You might think waking up at 2 in the morning is just a normal part of getting older, but for many over 60, it could be a sign of five specific silent vitamin deficiencies. It seems so reasonable to blame it on stress or maybe that last cup of coffee, doesn't it? We were all taught that sleep just changes as we age. But the truth is, when your body lacks certain key nutrients, it simply cannot regulate the hormones that control your sleep-wake cycle, like melatonin and cortisol. In this video, I'll show you the five most common nutrient deficiencies that can shatter your sleep. And stay until the end, because number one is often missed by doctors. But fixing it doesn't just help you sleep through the night. It can also dramatically restore your daytime energy. Before we begin, if you're comfortable, please tap the like button. If it feels right, consider subscribing to receive helpful tips more easily. Thank you. So, the problem isn't just that you're waking up. It's about understanding why and how to fix it. Let's break down the five nutrient deficiencies that could be the root cause. We'll go from a common but often overlooked culprit to the most powerful and effective one at the end. Nutrient number five, vitamin C, your oxidative stress shield. You probably think of vitamin C for colds and boosting immunity, right? But its role in sleep is incredibly underrated. This nutrient is for those who feel physically restless or unsettled at night, even if their mind is calm. The issue it solves is something called oxidative stress. Think of it like a form of rust inside your cells. Throughout the day, our bodies produce unstable molecules that cause damage. This process ramps up when we're stressed or sick. At night, your body is supposed to be in repair mode, cleaning up this damage. But if you're low on vitamin C, your body doesn't have its main tool to neutralize this cellular stress. So instead of resting, your body stays in a low-grade state of alert, fighting this internal battle, which can easily be enough to jolt you awake. The secret lies in its power as an antioxidant. Vitamin C donates electrons to these unstable molecules, effectively calming them down. When your body has enough of this antioxidant protection, your systems can finally switch off the alarm bells and enter a state of deep restorative repair, which is essential for staying asleep. It lowers the physical stress load on your body, making it easier to remain in a state of rest. And this isn't just theory. A 2014 study published in the journal PLOS One was very revealing. Researchers analyzed data from a large national health survey and found a clear link. Individuals with lower blood levels of vitamin C reported significantly more sleep disturbances and shorter sleep duration. They were more likely to sleep less than six hours a night. This shows a direct correlation between having enough vitamin C in your system and your ability to get a full, uninterrupted night's rest. So how do you get enough? While an orange is a good start, other foods are even better. One large yellow bell pepper has over 300 milligrams. A cup of strawberries or a single kiwi are also excellent sources. For a consistent supply, you can consider a supplement. A gentle dose of 500 milligrams of a buffered vitamin C taken with your evening meal can be a great way to ensure your body is well equipped for its nightly repair work. Avoid taking it right before bed on an empty stomach to prevent any potential digestive upset. What's your favorite way to get vitamin C? Is it from a food or a supplement? Share your choice in the comments below. Nutrient number four, vitamin B6, the melatonin production manager. This next one is for people who have trouble falling asleep in the first place or who wake up and find their mind is immediately racing and unable to get back to sleep. Vitamin B6 isn't just another B vitamin. It's a critical manager for producing the very chemicals that tell your brain it's time to sleep. If you think of your sleep system as a factory, vitamin B6 is the essential foreman on the night shift. Without it, the production line for sleep hormones grinds to a halt. Its primary role in sleep is acting as a crucial cofactor in a two-step process. First, it helps convert the amino acid tryptophan into serotonin. 
You might know serotonin as the feel-good neurotransmitter, but it's also the direct building block for our main sleep hormone. Then, in the second step, vitamin B6 is required again to convert that serotonin into melatonin. So, if you're low on B6, you can have all the tryptophan in the world from your turkey dinner, but you simply can't complete the conversion. Your brain never gets the strong melatonin signal it needs to shut down and initiate deep sleep. This is why a deficiency can lead to that frustrating feeling of being tired, but wired. The science on this is very clear. A 2018 study published in the journal Nutrients reviewed multiple human trials and concluded that vitamin B6 plays a significant role in improving sleep quality and reducing nighttime awakenings. In one of the studies they reviewed, elderly participants who were given a B6 supplement reported a significant decrease in the number of times they woke up during the night compared to a placebo group. They felt their sleep was deeper and more refreshing. To ensure you have enough, focus on foods like chickpeas, which are a fantastic source. A single can contains over a milligram, which is a large portion of your daily need. Other great sources include salmon, tuna, chicken breast, and potatoes. If you're considering a supplement, it's often best to take it as part of a B-complex vitamin, as B vitamins work best together. Look for a B-complex that contains around 25 to 50 milligrams of B6 and take it in the morning or early afternoon as B vitamins can be slightly energizing for some people. Nutrient number three, magnesium, your body's relaxation switch. We now arrive at the king of calming minerals. This deficiency is for those who experience muscle twitches, cramps, or a general feeling of physical tension that keeps them from fully relaxing at night. If your body feels like a tightly wound coil when you lie down, a lack of magnesium might be the reason. Magnesium is quite literally the relaxation switch for your body's entire muscular and nervous system. Here's the simple biology. Calcium and magnesium have an opposing relationship. Calcium is responsible for muscle contraction while magnesium is responsible for muscle relaxation. When you're low on magnesium, you have an excess of calcium signaling your muscles to contract, but not enough magnesium to tell them to let go. This imbalance leads to those annoying leg cramps, eye twitches, and a general state of physical tension. Furthermore, magnesium plays a key role in regulating the nervous system by binding to and stimulating GABA receptors in the brain. GABA is your primary calming neurotransmitter. It's what your brain uses to slow things down and quiet the mental chatter. Without enough magnesium, your nervous system can stay stuck in an overexcited state. The proof of its power is extensive. A 2012 double-blind placebo-controlled trial published in the Journal of Research in Medical Sciences looked at elderly adults with insomnia. The group that received 500 milligrams of magnesium daily saw significant improvements. They fell asleep faster, stayed asleep longer, had fewer early morning awakenings, and showed increased levels of melatonin and decreased levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. They didn't just sleep more, they had biologically better sleep. To get more magnesium, start with food, dark leafy greens like spinach and Swiss chard, almonds, Pumpkin seeds and dark chocolate are all packed with it. However, due to soil depletion, it can be difficult to get enough from food alone. For supplementation, one of the most effective forms for sleep is magnesium glycinate. It's highly absorbable and gentle on the stomach. A typical dose is 200 to 400 milligrams. Taken about 60 to 90 minutes before you plan to go to bed. This gives the mineral time to work its magic and prepare your body for deep relaxation. Have you ever tried a magnesium supplement for sleep? Share your experience, good or bad, in the comments. Nutrient number two, vitamin D, the sunshine regulator. This deficiency is for people who get a full eight hours in bed, but wake up feeling like they barely slept at all. Their sleep is light, fragmented, and just not refreshing. The problem vitamin D solves is the regulation of your actual sleep cycle, ensuring you get enough deep, restorative sleep. 
Let me tell you a story about a man named John, a retired accountant in his late 60s. For years, John did everything right. He had a consistent bedtime, a dark and cool room, no caffeine after lunch. But every single night, he'd wake up around two or three in the morning. He wouldn't even feel particularly stressed, just awake. And when he'd get up in the morning, he felt a profound exhaustion in his bones. He told his doctor, he felt like his body was forgetting how to sleep deeply. His doctor being thorough ran a standard blood panel. A few days later, he got a call. The doctor said, John, your sleep hygiene is perfect, but you have a severe vitamin D deficiency. John was shocked. He thought, the bone vitamin? What on earth does that have to do with my sleep? He was skeptical but started taking the high-dose prescription his doctor recommended. About three weeks later, something remarkable happened. For the first time in nearly a decade, he slept through the entire night. He woke up feeling not just rested, but genuinely refreshed. The deep, healing sleep he thought he'd lost forever had returned. John's story is incredibly common because the science is fascinating. Researchers have discovered vitamin D receptors in the areas of the brain that control sleep, including the brain stem and the hypothalamus. This means vitamin D acts like a hormone in these regions, directly influencing your sleep-wake cycle, also known as your circadian rhythm. It helps your body follow its natural clock. A deficiency can disrupt this clock, leading to that shallow, unfulfilling sleep John experienced. It prevents you from descending into and staying in the deepest, most restorative stages of sleep. The best source of course, is sensible sun exposure. But for many, especially in the winter or for those with mobility issues, that's not enough. Food sources include fatty fish like salmon and mackerel and fortified milk. However, supplementation is often necessary. The most effective form is vitamin D3. A common maintenance dose is 1,000 to 2,000 international units per day. But if you're deficient like John, you may need more under a doctor's guidance. Crucially, take vitamin D in the morning with a meal that contains some fat, as it is a fat-soluble vitamin. Taking it at night can sometimes interfere with melatonin production. Have you ever had your vitamin D levels checked? I'm genuinely curious to hear about your experience in the comments. Nutrient number one, iron, the restless body soother, and here we are at number one. This is the deficiency that doctors often miss in the context of sleep. It's for anyone who experiences an uncontrollable urge to move their legs at night, a creepy crawly sensation, or general restlessness that makes it impossible to lie still. This condition is often the hidden culprit behind repeated nighttime awakenings, and its root cause can be a simple lack of iron. The problem it solves is directly related to a neurological condition called restless leg syndrome, or RLS. In your brain, the neurotransmitter dopamine is essential for controlling smooth, purposeful muscle movement. Your brain needs iron to produce dopamine. When you are iron deficient, dopamine levels in the brain can fall, especially at night, when the body's circadian rhythm naturally causes a dip. This dopamine dysfunction leads to those miserable, uncontrollable sensations and the urge to move your legs for temporary relief. So while you may think it's a muscle problem, it's actually a brain problem triggered by a nutrient deficiency. The evidence linking iron to this condition is overwhelming. A major 2019 review in the Sleep Medicine Clinic's journal confirmed that iron deficiency is the single most important and treatable risk factor associated with restless leg syndrome. Studies show that when patients with both RLS and low iron levels are given iron supplements, their symptoms often dramatically improve or disappear entirely. The key is measuring not just your blood iron, but also your ferritin levels, which reflects your body's total iron stores. Many people can have normal blood iron, but very low ferritin, and that's the number that truly matters for this condition. So how do you address it? First, never supplement with iron without getting a blood test first, as too much iron can be toxic. If your doctor confirms you have low ferritin, you can increase your intake of iron-rich foods. 
There are two types, heme iron from animal sources like red meat, poultry, and oysters, which is very well absorbed, and non-heme iron from plant sources like lentils, spinach, and beans. To improve the absorption of plant-based iron, always consume it with a source of vitamin C. For supplementation, your doctor will guide you, but often a gentle form like iron bisglycinate is recommended as it's less likely to cause constipation. This one is a true game changer. Do you or someone you know experience that restless feeling in your legs at night? Share your story. It could help someone else feel understood. Now, I know what you might be thinking. But if I start taking all these new supplements, won't it upset my stomach or interfere with my medications? That is a very valid concern, and you should not start anything without being smart about it. Here are five simple rules. Number one, always talk to your doctor. Before starting any new supplement, especially iron, get a blood test and their professional advice. Number two, start low and go slow. Don't begin with the maximum dose of everything at once. Introduce one supplement at a time and see how your body feels. Number three, take them with food. Minerals like magnesium and especially iron are best taken with a meal to prevent digestive upset. Number four, timing is key. Remember, take energizing B vitamins and vitamin D in the morning and calming minerals like magnesium in the evening. Number five, choose quality brands. Look for supplements that have been third-party tested to ensure they contain what they say they do. So my friends, today we talked about more than just vitamins. We talked about how to listen to your body and use small, wise steps to reclaim the deep, restorative sleep that you truly deserve. It's not about accepting poor sleep as inevitable. It's about giving your body the fundamental tools it needs to rest and repair. I'm not asking you to change your whole life tomorrow. Just pick the one nutrient that resonated with you the most. Maybe it was John's story about vitamin D, or perhaps you recognized yourself in the description of restless legs. Discuss that one thing with your doctor this week. Observe how you feel. Which deficiency surprised you the most? Let me know your choice in the comments. And if this video gave you a sense of hope, just type the word hope. And of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so we can continue this health journey together. Take care. May your nights be quiet and your mornings bright. I'll see you in the next video. Thousands of seniors have found this video helpful, so I highly recommend you watch it. Click to keep going.